Okay. That is the symbol for parallel. So we're setting up, if you are setting up the machine or tuning up the machine, these area surfaces must be parallel. First, your front frame must be parallel with your rear frame, which must also be parallel to your cross floating head which the laser runs along on. And also parallel to the back of your um, cutting honeycomb tray and the front of your cut, cutting honeycomb tray. As well as that, it must be parallel, these, this left hand side must be parallel to the right hand side rail, which also must be parallel across there for your laser head rail also. Also to the left hand side of the honeycomb tray must be parallel to the right hand side of the honeycomb tray. Now this is a digital protractor. This is the ideal uh, tool to use when you are setting up your laser. The reason being, not a, if your if surface that you're on is not level, you can actually hit the other button. See that's 4.4. So you can actually hit this other one. That will give you an alternate zero, and that will make it all say that everything is zero on that in that plane. So then you can just transfer that. Everything will be zero excellent way to go to set up on that machines okay to set up all these I use a digital meter level or you can use a, um, a normal level like this you can actually see how far off the bubble is there or you can work off the little point of that okay this is a little um, jig I've made, so once you've got all of those surfaces parallel, the laser will that will go of the laser, and that will actually indicate on the table whether we're at 90 degrees. The laser is at 90 degrees. If we've got all this sort of effect, we've got a problem. So this is a jig that I made up that slides over the um, the um, laser head itself. Okay, that's the jig on the laser head. Now all we do is we can lower that down to the table and we can check that all that the laser head is cutting 90 degrees in both directions to the table. As the laser head is not adjustable for height, we will have to we mark it we, we built everything back from there. So the ideal of the laser head, as you can see, it's about two to three millimeters off that top surface there which is about the same height as our target there. So two to three millimeters when it is parallel, our laser head should be down about two to three millimeters. Whereas all the other mirrors, the mirror here between the, the, the target area of that mirror and the back mirror should be all parallel. Setting of the second mirror. So we go to the second mirror and we run a straight edge from the top surface here to the top surface of the number one mirror there which is the frame now that with the straight edge on there we should have a parallel there should be parallel to the top of that which is that that means the top of the mirrors are parallel to the surface and the last mechanical height adjustment is on the tube itself try to get the tube parallel or flat try not to have it tilted up or down to go into the and you will test that by when you do a test fire you will test fire it should be in the center of that mirror there that's your target area as per the standard setup for testing mirrors okay well, we've got our masking tape on there in the center of the aperture which is aiming at the mirror so we try to aim to get in the center of that center of that test fire now is pretty close it's probably just off to one side but that's where we want it somewhere about halfway up nearly towards the middle as close to the middle as we can <laughs> 